everybody, welcome back to That Fiction Life. As you can see, I'm reunited with Karen McManus today. At last. <laughs> I can't believe it's nearly been two years. I know. July. Time flies of 2017. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. And that was when she was touring for One of Us is Lying, which you all know is one of my favorite books ever in the world. And now we have a new book. To, to can keep, keep a secret. secret. <laughs> oh, I love that. Well, just before we start with the questions, I am doing a giveaway for Two Can Keep a Secret on my channel, which Karen is going to sign. Yeah. And all the rules will be down below for how you can enter. And also, if you head over to my Twitter, you can win a signed copy of One of Us is Lying if you would like both of these books. <laughs> my first question, yeah. of course, has to be, what is Two Can Keep a Secret about? So, To Keep a Secret is set in a small town with a very tragic past where history might be repeating itself. So, one of the main characters, Ellery, moves into a town. She's never lived there before. It's where her aunt disappeared many years ago. She meets a character named Malcolm who grew up there, and his older brother was suspected but never convicted of killing his homecoming queen girlfriend. So there's, there are these two unsolved mysteries, and then a third girl disappears. And Ellery and Malcolm are trying to figure out if these things are related, if this is just a very unlucky town, and what's going on. And so there's a lot of murder once again, once which again. is so much fun. My first real question is, did you at any point consider writing from the perspective of other characters because one of us slime had more perspectives yeah so now you've gone down to two is there anyone in particular that you wish you yeah included? well you know it's interesting because um there are only two point of view characters in two can keep a secret but in some ways i feel like there are four key characters um there's Ellery's twin brother, Ezra, and there's Malcolm's best friend, Mia, and they are part of the group that gets together and tries to figure out what's going on. And um, there is part of me that wishes that I was inside their heads because they're both great characters. And people have, in fact, asked me if I, would I write a sequel from Ezra's point of view yes, or from Mia's point of view? And I'm not currently <laughs> planning it, I will say that. But I do think both those characters have stories to tell and, you know, you never know if the right story might come up. How far in advance did you plan out right at the end? There's a lot of plot <laughs> twists in this book, let me tell you, but I'm talking about the very, very end. Actually, that um, very, very end came somewhat late in the revision process. And this book was interesting because I wrote it several times. I always had the kernel of the idea that something bad has happened in the past and something bad's happening now and are they created. But I didn't necessarily know what that thing was or who did it. With my very first two drafts, it was a different murderer. Mm -hmm. Actually, pretty much everyone in this book was the murderer at one point or another. Oh, and nice. it wasn't until I you know, kept writing it, figuring out what the story was, that I sort of landed on the right story. And then it wasn't until fairly late in the revision cycle and my editor kept saying, I think it needs to be darker. I think it needs to be darker. And then finally, when I got to the very end, she's like, okay, dark enough, dark enough. <laughs> Gosh, that last line floored me contemplating my life for about an hour after reading that. So Love it. Ellery is a bit of a murder enthusiast. She is. Just wondering, did you have any similar interests growing up in terms of <laughs> not doing the murders? Were you too a murderer? In terms of movies or TV shows or books yeah. that you like to read? I mean, watch? I was definitely like, you know, a little bit of a creepy little kid. Um, I was always fascinated by what's lying beneath the surface. And um, in, in the US, we have a pretty popular podcast. It's probably internationally popular called My Favorite Murder. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it just sort of delves into all of these different crimes and you know the, the psyche behind it. And um, that has always been interesting to me. So Ellery is sort of a stand in, in some ways, for that, that fascination with you know why do people do the mm -hmm. things they do. Mysteries generally require a fast-paced yes. plot. Do you find yourself cutting a lot out of your drafts or does it come easily to you just to write? I find myself adding things in. I mm -hmm. write lean. I write mm -hmm. really like the bare bones of the plot, um, which I think does help with the pace. But then what I find I need to do in particular is add in setting details. Right. Settings are my weak spot. Mm -hmm. um, describing what something looks like, um, describing what people hear, that type of thing never 
is the first thing that I think about. I'm always focused on what are they doing and what are they saying. Mm -hmm. And then later I have to go back and add in things to kind of help immerse people. Which characters from One of Us is Lying would be best at helping solve the murders in Two Can Keep a Secret and vice Definitely versa? Definitely Bronwyn. Yes. I feel like Bronwyn and Ellery would make this fantastic tag team of mm -hmm. sleuths who could just like go out there and get stuff done. And vice versa, do you think Ellery would be the best at helping the gang? I do think she mm -hmm. would, yeah, because she is relentless you know she she's like Bronwyn in that way she mm -hmm. doesn't really stop until she knows what's happening even if maybe it turns out she would rather not have known mm -hmm. but she yeah. still has to have that answer whereas Malcolm in Two Can Keep a Secret I think they're an interesting dynamic because Malcolm is afraid of what he might find out and so he's a much more reluctant protagonist. Mm -hmm. Do you share any personality traits with anyone from Two Can Keep a Secret? Yes. Well, I do have the fascination with true crime that Ellery does, mm -hmm. but I actually feel like Ezra is sort okay. of the stand-in for mm -hmm. a writer in this book. Ezra yeah. is Ellery's twin brother because he's the observer. Um, he, In some ways, he's along for the ride, yet he also pitches in and helps, helps out. But he's also got his own interests that he's sort of quietly passionate about, and uh, I think that he's someone that a lot of readers can relate to also. I really liked hearing from him whenever he was in a scene. <laughs> I was like, yes. He has the best lines. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Which characters from any book would you pick to be your champion in a fight? Champion in a fight, you know, that's a tricky question because on the one hand, it feels like I should say Cooper because he's oh, physically yeah, the course. strongest, yeah, yeah. but Cooper's such a marshmallow inside. He doesn't have an aggressive bone in his body. So, you know, if he were backed against the wall, he would help you out. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think I would need more of a Bronwyn, someone who's just like taking charge mm -hmm. from the beginning. Have you now watched Riverdale? Because as we discussed <laughs> in our last video, yes. One of Us is Lying and Two Can Keep a Secret now as well are perfect if you watch Riverdale and you hadn't watched it before. I hadn't watched it when One of Us is Lying came out and people kept mm -hmm. saying to me, oh, you must love Riverdale. And I would have to admit that I had not seen that? it. But yes, I have now mm -hmm. watched it. I read the yeah. whole, watched the whole first season, mm -hmm. watched the second season. Yeah. So I am fully up to speed. I get it. <laughs> the comparisons <laughs> make sense. What do you think? I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, I like the I like the darker vibe that they're bringing to because I had read the Archie comics yeah. when I was a kid, mm -hmm. so I'm familiar with the characters, and I like what they've done to it to modernize it. Yeah. I think the cast is amazing, yes. and I, I definitely like see the parallels to the mm -hmm. One of Us is Lying cast. Mm -hmm. We all know that One of Us is Lying is currently in development to become a TV show, and I was wondering if yes. you can give us any kind of update. Is it still happening? Yeah, so the only update I can give right now is that it is still in development, um, we are making progress and I'm excited about that, but there's nothing else I can share mm -hmm. at this time. Are you very excited to see how everything comes together? Absolutely, yeah. It's mm -hmm. amazing to see the process up close. Yeah. And of course, the, the dream is, will you get to see this on screen one day and see mm -hmm. actors interpreting your characters, which would be really amazing. Yeah. Is there any part of the book that you really wish to be shown and anything that you imagined in your head to be translated to the screen? Um, Stan. Stan very much needs to be a part. <laughs> this is everything. I can already imagine this. It's going to be great. That's it. Just Stan just the lizard that. and yeah, everything else is show. just around him. We all need a dragon him. pet. No, <laughs> um, my final question is about the future. Yes. So we know that you're writing, you've finished writing the sequel or spin-off to yes. One of Us is Lying. Yes. Is there so, anything you can tell us about it? Yeah, so that book is... Um, it's kind of a companion book to One of Us is Lying. So there are different main characters. Um, Bronwyn's sister Maeve has been up leveled to a main character <laughs> and she was so fun to write. I, I loved Maeve in the first book and I just didn't get to spend as much time with her as I wanted. So this book, she has a huge role. Then I created two new characters that you'll get to meet who are classmates of Maeve. Um, I up leveled a couple secondary characters. Mm -hmm. So Cooper's friend Luis. Okay. has a much bigger role in this one. And Nate's lawyer, Eli, okay. also has a really big role. And then the original four, they're not point of view characters, but they're very present. They are important secondary characters. They drive some of the plot mm -hmm. points okay. here and there. So people will definitely see them. The question will be answered of what's happening with Nate and Bronwyn. So <laughs> if you're Thank wondering you. about that, you will- We're all wondering about that. You will get plenty of Nate and Bronwyn in Excellent. this book. <laughs> 
And especially, you know, because Bronwyn and Maeve are sisters, yeah. the writing mm -hmm. that sisterly dynamic between the two of them was mm -hmm. one of my favorite things about this book. Yeah. They, whenever I put the two of them on a page, it just flows. Their mm -hmm. sibling chemistry is amazing. Was it quite reminiscent of the twins into a Yes, exactly. I love writing siblings. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite relationships to explore. Mm -hmm. And um, Ellery and Ezra, their bond and their closeness and the way yeah. they play off each other was one of my favorite parts about Two Can Keep a Secret. Yeah, so those are all my questions. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I will link all of Karen's links down below, as well as the giveaway and my review of To Complete for Secret, so you can find out more about it. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.